I heard once in the forest like this, there was a wolf terrorizing pigs. Well, my friend was the wolf, and he had a little different story. It went like this, though. He was out jogging, and he loved the trails, and he was actually pretty good at keeping all the other actual bad wolves away from the town. And so he would go and jog the trails and see if he could smell any other wolves and see what, you know, just keep the place safe. And as he was out going one day, he saw a new road or a new little trail had been built. And sure enough, down that road, he walked and there were three little houses. Well, strange little houses, actually. Uh, the first one he came across was made out of straw. And uh, you guessed it, there was a little pig out in the front yard. And as soon as that little pig, blow away a bug here. As soon as that little bit pig saw the wolf, he ran in. He's like, ah, no, big bad wolf. And the wolf walked around the house, and he was looking, and he was smelling the straw, and oh, he had hay fever, hay fever so bad. And he, he started to call out to the pig, little pig, little pig, I need to help you build this house better. Like, it's not going to last in a forest like this, in the rain, in every, no, it's going to be terrible. And so he got closer and closer to the house, and his hay fever got worse and worse, and finally he sneezed. And sure enough, the house blew completely down. Well, he went in, and he rooted, and he grabbed the tail of that pig. Well, you know how wolves, the only way they can grab anything is with their teeth. And so I guess technically he did bite the pig a little bit, but he let him go, pulled him out by his tail, out of the road, boom dropped him, and he ran up the road to the next house. Well, the wolf, feeling bad about the whole thing and wanting to explain himself, followed pretty fast. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? And he finally he settled. He realized the pig was okay. He couldn't run that fast if he was having so, so much trouble. So he got to the next house. And guess what? I, you already know this. You already know. It was, yeah, made out of sticks. And so the wolf was walking around and around that house, and the pigs had already hidden somewhere deep inside that house. And he was like, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. I need to help you fix your house for winter. And the pigs said, no, 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 not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. And the wolf kind of laughed because that was a weird thing to say. But uh, yeah, sure enough, he was walking around, and one of those sticks that didn't get built into the house was laying on the ground, tripped him, and he fell. Woo! With a big huff, he knocked the wind out of him. Well, guess where the wind went? Yeah, it knocked the house down. Oh, those poor pigs, scared, scared. And they couldn't get out. They were buried so deep in the sticks. So the wolf started digging in the pile of sticks, pulled them out by their tails, threw them as clear of the rubble, and off they ran. As soon as they hit the ground, they ran right up to the next street, right up to the net, right up the street to the next house. Oh my goodness, oh, and, then, and then the wolf was a little bit more happy because he got to that house. Oh my goodness, but he had been chasing those, oh man, he had been chasing those pigs for so long down this trail, this whole road now. Whew, he was huffing and puffing, and but he was looking at that house, and oh, he went all around it, ooh, oh, oh, trying to catch his breath, oh. Oh, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Oh, he made it all the way around and he finally said, you know, got back to the front door and and there was a third little pig. Opened the door right up and said, hey, how are you? And he goes, why? And he goes, and the little pig goes, you're the wolf that's been taking care of the area that I heard about. And the wolf goes, oh yeah, my name's Bubba. Uh, short, you know, kind of really short for Big Bad. And, uh, the, the pig goes, oh my gosh, that must be a weird story. But anyway, my brothers came scared to death, as you can tell. And he goes, yeah, I know. And the, and the pig goes, but I heard also, in, in, including taking care of the town, you also um, run a self-defense class. And he goes, oh yes, it's one of my best ones. And it's free right now during spring. I don't know, during nothing. 
Anyway, he goes, but I don't charge anything. And the, and the wolf goes, all right, all right, come on in for dinner if you can. And he's like, sure, I've got time. And so it was true. The pigs had the wolf for dinner, but it wasn't the way you thought. And those two little pigs did take those self-defense classes. But they never could quite live down the actual version. And so what you hear might be colored by their experiences.